Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with Let's Play The Sims for Scream Sorority Part 3 and Peach has a major, major uh, brain freeze right now. She is enjoying her uh, ice cream that she's made at 3 a.m. in the morning or 4 a.m. I guess that's alright, but Peach is very sweet. She's got a sweet tooth and uh, that's why her name is Peach, I guess. So she's just living a little because we all got to live a little. Uh, in the last part, you guys were pretty freaked out by the bear that was uh, that could be seen through the window and who was at the end of uh, the Let's Play Part 2. And, uh, you know, I wonder what that bear was doing there. Why was that bear stalking? I wonder. It kind of reminds me of the Red Devil in Scream Queens. You know. Anyways, uh, in this part, I thought that we would get Poppy uh, to go do a little bit of study with Chad. Uh, and Chad, if you guys don't know, is Nadia's boyfriend. So uh, if you're just coming into the LP right now, Nadia is the head of this sorority house and she <laughs> has uh, her first backup, her NBFF number one, who is Poppy Lee, who has the great pleasure uh, and honor of sleeping in Nadia's bathroom to be there at her every becking call uh, if Nadia needs anything. So she's just right there and she'll pretty much do everything for her. Uh, but yeah, Peach is really the only one up now. Uh, she's just hanging. She's being a little bit cheeky, you know, she's on Nadia's computer. So maybe what we'll do is do a little bit of socializing and chat with someone else who is online. Uh, Cora Kelso, mm, I don't know if Peach is one to steal people's boyfriends, but she's pretty nice. So maybe we will, uh, maybe we'll just message Bradley. I don't think it's in any way bad. She just, you know, she's just a friendly girl. So <laughs> Uh, she's having a bit of fun there and hopefully Nadia doesn't find out. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of her bowl being left there though. So Nadia's like, who's been in my office? <laughs> uh, it is five in the morning. I reckon Nadia would probably get up pretty early uh, to do a little bit of a workout. So we'll get her up and uh... oh no, you know what we should have done? We should have got poppy to wake her up because she's her alarm clock but maybe she woke up extra early today and is like poppy wake up why are you still sleeping <laughs> i need to use the bathroom uh so we'll get poppy to leave there right away and cook nadia some breakfast uh nadia let's get you to use the toilet there we go and Poppy's gonna go downstairs and cook some stuff up for all the girls. Uh, so we'll get her to go into the pantry here to the fridge. <gasps> Death trap! Love it. Let's serve breakfast, scrambled eggs, and then we can have a whole house uh, breakfast at the dining table, which will be nice with all the girls. Oh my gosh, I love her pajamas. I love this outfit. It's, it's one of my faves. Oh, okay, where are you going? You're gonna go... Where? What? Okay, I do not know where Poppy just went. Oh, she's gonna mix it up here. Surely we have plenty of bed space. It's ruining the girls' breakfast. Look how much bench space we have. You know what? I'm gonna delete a couple of these because really, uh, we should have plenty of room for them to make stuff in the kitchen. And oh, by the way, off camera, we did have a little fire. Uh, Ecclesley, who's the newest member of the house, did uh, have a little bit of a hiccup and she cr tried to cook herself a toasted sandwich, I think, and it caught on fire. But because it was off camera, I was sh quick to extinguish that. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of the girls are obviously feeling tense due to that, and Poppy has not done her job very well. She's taking forever to make breakfast. Nadia's having to eat leftovers, and she does not look happy about it. She's like, oh my god, Poppy, if you didn't take so freaking long to get my breakfast done, I would not be eating cold macaroni cheese. I don't think Poppy's on the very good side of Nadia right now, just quietly. Anyways. Uh, so Nadia will be at work today and or going instead of work we're gonna say they're going to class today uh, but she's wanting to become a pop star so she's just an amateur entertainer at this stage and uh, Peach is probably saying oh I have no idea who left that bowl there sorry Nadia I'll clean it up for you okay and these girls are pretty good BFFs, so maybe I uh, will just get Nadia to vent to Valentina and just be like oh can't believe Poppy. She's so annoying. It might be time for her to step down from 
and BFF number one and MBF BFF number two can be upgraded to number one. And that is Valentina. So she looks pretty happy about herself. She's like, no problem, Nadia. I will always be here for you. Oh, she's so beautiful. She's the best friend anyone could ever have. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So I reckon now that Poppy's having something to eat, she's feeling pretty tense because she knows how long she took. Okay, I had to just eat that for herself. Nadia's going to get to class. So is Valentina. Oh, so is Peach. Like the whole house is will be going uh, going to class, which is a good thing. And then we'll get Poppy to catch up for a, in quotation marks, study date with Chad. Because you know what? Poppy's obsessed with Nadia. Like, obsessed. She really wants to be Nadia. She looks up to her. She's pretty obsessed with her. And uh, Nadia has a boyfriend, Chad. And if Poppy wants to be Nadia, she has to have Nadia's boyfriend. So she's kind of got a crush on him. Even though it's all lust, she doesn't even have a very good friendship with him. She just wants to get with him to be like Nadia. And feel more like the leader. You'd think Valentina would be more likely to do that. But Valentina is a little bit smarter than Poppy, potentially. <laughs> All right, you get something to eat, girl. You'll eat up. You'll eat up. Where's Elkie? Or Echo Sleep. But no one knows that since her makeover. A lot of you guys were like, a Beyonce hair. Loving it. Uh, I thought that was pretty nice. And Echo Sleep probably feels like she can sit there because Nadia is going to be going to work soon. Uh, so she's got, she's got work in 10 minutes. Awesome. Oh, she was meant to practice music. We didn't do that. She's not really used to having to work for stuff. She just is given stuff. So, you know, she probably struggles to get her grades up. Okay, we have to go to work anyway now. Cool beans. Off you go. Peach is off to work as well. Poppy is feeling flirty conveniently, which I'm loving. Uh, so let's, let's go out. Let's get her to wear something else. You know, let's change our outfit to everyday four something very cute or maybe we should actually get her to wear something a little bit showy nah she looks cute in that though she looks cute okay let's go to the map let's go to the library with chad just pretend like we don't really understand what work we're doing is there a library here quad manor library excellent where is chad there he is let's go Okay, here are these two looking very nice. Uh, maybe she can just discuss dance techniques because Chad is a bit of a muso and she loves dancing too. Okay, how are you? <laughs> Talk about the latest party, how much fun it was and uh, maybe tell a joke about monkeys because she's probably trying a little bit too hard. Discuss interests and let's go do a little bit of study. I haven't actually been in this library before. This looks really cute. I like this library a lot. It looks very quiet. AKA quiet. Uh, which also means perfect time to flirt. So I don't know, should we, mm, what's the perfect flirting spot? Let's uh, let's bring them upstairs to here. <gasps> Love that. Let's go up here and, and try and get a little bit closer. Uh, even though she said she wants to flirt with him. I mean, even though she said she wants to study with him, she wants to flirt with him. So let's just get him to know, maybe share some photos. Oh, we're getting a little bit closer now. She's really trying to get along with him well, being a bit flirty. Okay, and now let's go in for something crazy. Uh, let's maybe, oh, oh, I don't know, I don't know, confess, confess attraction. Confess attraction, okay. <gasps> oh my god, how embarrassing! He totally just... <gasps> oh no, who just saw that? And <laughs> Poppy's like, you did not see that, Elkie. But Elkie totally saw her hit on Chad. And he's not impressed. He's like, no, no, you are, you are Nadia's best friend. So Nadia's not going to be angry about that. But I reckon Elkie would for sure... For absolute sure, call Nadia. So let's give her a call uh, and let her know what's happened. So we'll go to chat. She can let Nadia know. 
Oh my god, you'll never believe what I just saw. <laughs> she is not happy. She's like, I can actually not believe that Poppy would do that. What a bish. Bish, please. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Poppy does not want to come home right now. I think Poppy would be feeling pretty intense and she probably getting a few uh, nasty text messages from Nadia. So I think what we should do is maybe head off to the gym, uh, maybe go into the steam room and just release uh, a little bit of that sweat. So let's head to the gym just so she can relax by herself and uh, make sure that uh, when she does go back to the sorority, hopefully Nadia is asleep and has, you know, had time to relax, had time to get over Poppy being, uh, being mean to her so uh, let's go downstairs and go into the steamer room over here let's go relax a little bit of relaxation girl mm -hmm. oh gosh it's probably Nadia calling is that Nadia calling because if it is we do not want to answer that all right so she's just gonna have a little bit of steaming time she does look pretty stressed in there but uh, you know that'll hopefully help her relax just a little bit just let her have a little bit of chill out time. Mmm, girl, stretch out. And alas, Poppy has died. The Grim Reaper is here. She died from being locked in the steamer. And at the last minute, she uh, had the door opened and this gentleman dragged her body out. Uh, but alas, he was too late. So I wonder who locked her in that sauna. Grim's done his work for the day by the looks of it. And that's pretty sad. That's Poppy and she did. She did. So uh, Nadia, Nadia's around as well. Ecclesy's around. Valentina's around. Peach is around. Gosh, Peach is here with an ice cream. Just like, it's okay, guys. Life is short and sweet. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's maybe... Uh, can we not put this in our inventory? Do we have to leave it here now? Surely not. Surely not. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Peach is like more devastated that she dropped her ice cream on the ground than anyone dying. <gasps> maybe it's Peach. Mm, maybe it's Valentina. Who done it? Who done it? But I do know who is going to be not happy about this, and that is definitely the Dean. This is, does not look good for the university. Alrighty, so the professors are here to have a chat uh, to Nadia and we also have Valentina here uh, with Nadia just backing her up, being a good sidekick as she is. The girls look pretty upset, but are they faking it or are they not? That is the question. Can we please turn off the TV, by the way? And uh, Professor Hottie is looking pretty hot. Let's turn that off. I think the Dean would definitely turn that off. And she's going to give Nadia a bit of a difficult time, I think. I think she'll... Uh, complain about the the local youths and say look kids these days starting fires death what is this murder apparently poppy was locked into the the sauna and i would like to know who did it so maybe she can also say mm, said preposterous rumor nadia's sticking to the story that she knows nothing about it She goes, I happen to think someone in this household killed Poppy. <laughs> Nadia's saying it's not true. Oh, Nadia's like, yes, yes, I killed her. Well, she might have. Who knows? That's the question. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you soon. <laughs>